Peggy 18. The augmented era began with such promise. Until the incidents turned the world upside down. 50 million dead. Hundreds of thousands more maimed and injured. All because a few rich opportunists plotted in secret to control us. Today, hatred of Augs has morphed into a full-blown mechanical apartheid with violent clashes fueling unrest. The Augmented are suffering a genocide. It begins with taking away our rights, treating us as less than human, and then exterminating us. Something big is brewing, and I need to cut it off at the source. How can these people always be one step ahead? They've got unlimited power and money and absolutely no conscience at all. That's how. They manipulated the dawn of Human 2.0, made it dangerous, made me. I'm going to use every advantage I have to stop them. My advanced capabilities convinced Interpol to recruit me to their counter-terrorism task force, despite objections within the team. I'm willing to endure their prejudice, so long as it furthers my hunt for the true threat. Not gonna go all wonky on us now, Hansa. Are ya? If I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Turns out my military-grade enhancements were hiding a full set of cutting-edge experimental logs. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Meaning my ability to infiltrate, fight, and circumvent has now grown exponentially. Right along with the increasing threat level. Being stationed in Prague places me at the epicenter of terrorist activity. And with blame for the latest atrocity being leveled at an augmented group there, the only certainty is that the body count will keep rising. Our territory is fiercely defended. No one sets foot in there. The task force wants me to bring Ark's leader to justice, dealing with his augmented army as I see fit. Starting my investigation by interrogating Talos Rucker on the realities of his non-violent approach could prove beneficial. Every floor of their towering complex is packed with armed militia and filled with high-end security. But its makeshift construction provides me with plenty of options. Going in full force and guns blazing may result in casualties. But if I want to strong-arm Rucker into surrendering, it makes sense to use force. Engaging them with modified firearms, explosive nanoblades, and using my Titan shield to negate their counterfire as I roll through like a reinforced tank. I have known exactly the kind of thug you are since the moment you entered. If Ark had no involvement in the bombing, it might justify going in like a ghost, hacking their security systems, using the architecture to my advantage, delivering concussive blasts via the Pep's gun, and relying on the Tesla's electrified projectiles to avoid any unnecessary deaths. A lack of casualties would be a show of respect to someone like Rucker, and might just convince him to peacefully turn himself in. Faced with two terrible choices, I choose the lesser evil. I will come with you. But he and Ark represent just one facet of my hunt for the truth. And I'll need to keep tracking down leads and making contacts on both sides of the law if I hope to uncover the true motives behind these escalating attacks. It's not always about doing the right thing, or about doing things the right way. Intel gathered from allies outside the task force has me questioning everything, including the true intentions of my own command. If you're meeting with Miller, be careful. You walked into another ambush, and Miller's not off my suspect list yet. Everyone's got their agenda, meaning I'll have to trust my gut when dealing with suspects. How far are you willing to go to help out a friend in need? Whether I'm working by the book or going rogue, choice never comes without consequence. What's the going rate for cops in Gollum City? You're making a very dangerous assumption. The clock is always ticking, and unraveling the mystery on my own terms may be the only way to prevent disaster. 
There is a moment coming, and it will be soon, when all of us will have to choose a side. As anti-Arab conflicts become a global concern, Prague represents just one square on a giant chessboard whose pieces are continually manipulated from the shadows. I have to choose my allies wisely, reminding myself of the greater cause. The elite may obscure themselves in darkness, but the truth is still mine to reveal. I don't care that they only speak in whispers. I won't let them have the last word.